Yo guys, what's going on? I got Tim on the on the line on Skype. You were MLB baseball blogs doing a video for a long time with Tim. Tim's back on the show. Breaking news, Jonathan Papelbon has signed a four year what is it, Tim, like a fifty million dollar contract? Yeah, it's a four year fifty million dollar contract that has a vesting option to be a five year sixty million dollar contract. So it's a pretty big investment, but Jonathan Papelbon has had a very good career so far. So yes, the team that signed him is Tim's favorite team, the Philadelphia Phillies. Tim, you're the Phillies expert. Break us down. What does this mean for Ryan Madsen and Brad Lidge? This means for sure Ryan Madsen will not come back. I think he'll end up signing with the Washington Nationals. Uh, Brad Lidge is not going to be a closer anywhere this season, so I think that there's still a pretty decent possibility they bring him back to be like a 7th or 8th inning guy. Uh, Papelbon, I think this is a, it's a very good move, as long as it... Look, well, you're making a big investment, but if Jonathan Papelbon pitches the way he has throughout his career, except 2010, then this is an investment that's worth it. He's only 30 years old, which closers can pitch till they're about 35, which would be right about when this deal would end. And he's pitched in a big market, he's won a World Series, uh, and he's a pretty big personality, and I kind of like that coming into Philly. I like this move as well, man. I think when you said about Ryan Madsen going over to the Washington Nationals, I have to agree with you on that. I think that the Texas Rangers could possibly use him to be a setup guy for Mike Adams if he is going he's to be. He's not going to be a setup guy anymore. I think he's going to he's going to make about eleven million dollars. I just don't see anyone paying that much for a setup guy. So there you go. Um, I, otherwise, I think that you guys made a great move for you guys are just signed Jim Tomey's going to be filling in for Ryan Howard. Um, Tim, do you guys think that this is your bullpen is going to be bullpen caliber to go to the World Series next year? Uh, yeah, caliber, as long as he pitches well. Antonio Bastardo on a very, he had a breakout season last year. You have Michael Stutes, Michael Schwimmer. The one thing that this team needs is a lefty that's a situational lefty. Antonio Bastardo is obviously a lefty, but he's more of an eighth inning guy. You need like a lefty like J.C. Romero to be for the Phillies. And other than that, the bullpen's going to be very good. And don't forget that they still have Halliday, Hamels, Lee, uh, Vance Worley, Nacho Blanton. I mean, that's... Yeah, so let's go over Ryan, uh, Ryan Howard, Jonathan Papelbon's stats real quick. He was four and one, a two ninety four ERA with eighty seven strikeouts. He was thirty one for thirty four. The most notable blown save that he has blown was, I think, was what was it? The Baltimore game, the last game of the season. Yeah, but that, yeah, was, that was the last game of the year. That's an ugly way for him to end, and probably one of the reasons he wants to change where he's at right now. Yeah. So, uh, that, I think, otherwise, I think this is a great move for the Philadelphia Phillies. Let's see if they can continue signing some great talent to that roster. Jimmy Rollins, Tim, do you think he's going to return? No, I don't. I think he's going to price his way out, and I think the Phillies will end up settling for someone like Rafael for call. So, there you go, guys. We got one more video coming up today, and we'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for tuning in to MLB Baseball Blogs. We'll be continuing our coverage for the MLB free agent tracker. We'll see you guys later. Bye.